Hi everyone, this is Frenchie here. We're trying something new. Holly's at the other end. We're gonna share tips or make cards with the, the beautiful moves called All Bundle Up. But first, I need to go um, add those links a few places. So just one second. It's a new platform we're trying. So just hold on and I will be right back. Okay, Holly, you can tell them what we're going to be doing tonight with the stamp set we're using while I go uh, do those links. We're using the All Bundled Up, and we're both using the Moose image out of there. And we're both coloring with watercolor um, alcohol markers and some sponging techniques I think that you're going to like, um, masking how to mask an item and then make it appear in the foreground. Um, but yeah, just fun, cute little mousse that we're going to be working on. Okay, now I got that. I'm going to flip back the screen here. So like I said, this is um, new to me. I mean, it's not... Um, knew that you know i can broadcast live with ollie so we test that this weekend and it was kind of great and then test again tonight so if it worked good i plan to do that more often so now i'm going to go check if um, i can see at this end and the comment oh i cannot watch there oh yes i can one minute here we go. Okay, so I see my picture. It's not uh, clear the best. I don't know why, but the down's going to be good. So we're going to start with Holly. So Holly, if you want to do your uh, card, let me remove from the spotlight. And I'm going to put remove this one from the spotlight and add you to the spotlight here. So here and then remove that one. Here we go. Now you're on, Holly. Go ahead. Well, here's the mousse that I'm going to show you guys tonight. And I just absolutely love snowflakes and snowmen and then mousse. So snowflakes and mousse are the next best thing. This card base is basic gray, and it is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And then I'm just gonna do some basic layering. This paper is from Texture Chic. And um, I love those snowflakes. And then I have this scallop sitting on my desk. It is basic gray and it is cut from the scallop contours dies. So I thought that he would look pretty cute on the scallop rectangle. So I will just add that to my card front. These little snowflakes are in the, they're a carryover item from the holiday catalog last year. And there's a white side that you could sponge any color you wanted, and then a more shiny, opaque side. And I'm going to bring in my silicone mat, and I'm just going to put some adhesive on a corner of that. And I don't care that it goes on the front of my snowflake, because it's going to be behind my mousse. And then you just want to make sure when you put your snowflake on that it doesn't go outside the card base. Okay, so there's that so far. And then I'm gonna show you how I colored the mousse. I used soft succulent, light and dark for the hat and the scarf, and crumb cake for the antlers. I used soft 
um, light flirty flamingo for his mouth and his ears. And I like to start on his legs and I'm using um, 700 um, of the natural blends. And I'm just gonna put some color down his legs. And you can see I'm not doing a real great job coloring, which is fine. You're doing great. This one is um, 600. The higher the number, the lighter the color, which is kind of confusing to me, but it is what it is. So we'll work with that. And I think what I did was I colored down on his legs a little bit and then pretty much colored his whole body. And these blends markers are, the alcohol markers are real forgiving. Um, I'm not a great colorer, but boy, I tell you, they make you look good. And then to give my moose some color, well, let's do his hooves. I did the hooves in 200 and that's pretty dark color. And then I use that same 200 to add some dark colors on my moose. So around his rear, kind of maybe on his legs a little bit, his ears, on his chin, his little eyebrows. And then I think I used 400 and then just kind of blended it in a little bit more. With the blends, the more you go over that dark, harsh line, the better it blends for you. Oops, I went out of the lines a little bit, but that's okay. A little extra love for somebody, right? I think I'm using this card for my eldest son's birthday card. His birthday's in December, and he lives in California right now, and he misses Wyoming. So I think he should have a snowy moose for his birthday. Okay, now we just need to finish blending a little bit on his legs and then he'll be all done. Oh, maybe up here. You look good, Ollie. I don't know if people can hear me when I'm not in the spotlight. So that's something I'm testing right now, but I think your moves look very, very good. Thank you. And I like to bring my light color down into his hoof to kind of blend that um line as well just a little bit you look good, Ollie. okay what i test yes they can hear us ollie so that's good we can talk that's great awesome now we know okay i think that's pretty good okay thanks glenda and then what I did was I took my soft succulent and I inked up my blending brush. And I just real lightly, you notice I'm not using a mask on him. I'm just going right over what I colored. So I wanted the top a little bit light 
and then I switch to evening evergreen on the bottom. And I go right over his feet to get in between his legs. Okay. Pretty quick and simple there. Oh, I forgot my dimensionals. Be right back. So I popped this layer up on dimensionals. Use the nickel, right? Yes. Yeah, the deckled rectangle I used for this one. And it was the fourth largest deckled rectangle. I thought he fit pretty good in there. And I'll bring my card base back. Oh, <laughs> helps if you take the little backing off of those dimensionals. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, there, that should stick a little better. And that rectangle is kind of tight inside the little dots on that scalloped, but I thought it looked pretty good. And right now I didn't put a grating on there, but I do have a inside piece that when I cut my designer paper, I cut it at four by 12. And then I cut that piece at five and a quarter twice. So then I had three half inch strips left over. So I'm gonna do one. And I like to use my grid sheet to kind of line up my strip to make sure I'm straight. And then I did just this little one right on top of that. So this one is a half inch, this one is a quarter. I just need to trim off just a little bit of excess here. Okay. Some more adhesive. Put that on the inside. And I didn't stamp my envelopes yet, but there's some little snowflakes that's in this stamp set that I would probably just put on my envelope. And that's it. You Over did wonderful, Grant. Ollie. If you Thank were nervous, you. it didn't show. Ollie said she was nervous. I say it don't show. <laughs> so now Ollie share many tips with what she used for coloring. And I think she did wonderful. So my moves are color. So I am concentrating on uh, how to add color with the stamp moves already done color. In the back, I'm gonna have the trees and one no trees, masking and not masking. So let me get uh, to that screen. So like I said, this is a learning process here, but we're gonna get it. So now let me see if I can put um, spotlight for it. Okay, now you guys should see my cards. Before I get started, I get the same set that I am using. So the all bundle up, we both use that, the lovely moose. If he don't make you smile, I don't know what gonna make you smile. For the happy birthday, I wanted something that fit at the bottom and I'm one that love mixed font and this, I absolutely love it. The Appy and then the birthday, it's in cursive. Appy, it's type font. And that's it's shaded summer. 
who said we have to use that in the summertime, right? And then for the trees, I'm gonna use the pine tree in grassy grove. And also I'm gonna be using the trees in camp, campology. That's a tough twister for me. So that's the stamp set that I am using. Now, oh, we're gonna turn that off. I am sorry. Um, now, this here, it's uh, sponging the background or blending with the blending brush, but no masking. So if you don't like to do masks, don't panic. This is no masking. And this one here with the trees in the back, it is the masking. So we're gonna start with the easiest one. So that's gonna be this one here. Uh, this one, it's three and three quarter by, no, three and a half by uh, four and three quarter. I stamped the mousse with memento black and I color it with the blends about the same than Ollie. Uh, this one, I like, how it turned out. The next one, I think, um, I don't know. I missed his eyes. I didn't look what I was doing. You're going to see in a bit. This is the soft succulent for the hat with smoky slate. And also I had a bit of, um, uh, let me think, soft succulent. Oh, that's just soft succulent, the dark and the light and the smoky slate, okay, for the scarf. Now, my blends, I don't use blends for all my color. I said that many times. So let me just adjust one thing here. It's bugging me. So let me. Um, Okay, I think maybe that's going to be better here. I hope so. I still see the big white glare there. Let me, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to at the bottom for the snow, what I like to do is take just a copy paper. I prefer a copy paper over cardstock because it's thin. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip this. It's no right and wrong, okay? I'm gonna rip that. Now I'm gonna go at the bottom and we're gonna do our snow. So I am using balmy blue for the snow. And I'm still not happy with, I'm using a different um, computer, not computer, but um, what can I call this? Um, device for the my camera and that's been a little bit of tricky to adjust but I think now it's better so now because I'm not masking but the color it's lighter than my mousse okay so what oh I got dark hand one minute this need to be fixed because it's driving me nuts and if it drives me nuts I know the color are not right so I want to show, oh, that's much better. Okay. Okay, let's hope that's good. Like I said, this is all new process we're doing. So I hope you guys gonna bear with us. Now for the snow, I use balmy blue and I start, this is the scrap paper and I'm gonna go down here. Cause the snow, it's not equally, right? Now I'm gonna come here. When it's the, like I wanna do um, ocean or yeah, ocean, then I go the other way. For the snow, I wanna go down, darker at the top, lighter going down. Now I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do the same way. See, it looked like we don't have much, but we do, right? And so I just gonna have like, snow drift, that, that would be the good word for it, snow drift. I'm gonna come here and I'm not worried about the mousse, like I said, cause he's much darker than my blue. So I just go happy with my sponging. Here we go. I go lighter when I hit the mousse, but pretty much not. So you see, 
I think it looked pretty, pretty good there. Now for this, I can add maybe a little bit more. Now I see my color are a bit too light. I'm going to get it right. It's just a bit too light. So let's hope that's better. It's hard to adjust and okay, now you see much better. Perfect. I think we got it. Now I'm going to go add a little bit more here. Okay, that was better for me. Now for the sky, then I'm going to use gray. And for my gray, I am not using any mass or anything. So I just going to come, it's going to be darker at the top, coming lighter. So where the horizon is, it should be lighter. So I'm going to go ahead. So the reason why I choose gray over blue for the sky, if you guys been up north in the winter, you get a lot of gray sky. And now I'm just going to blend softly. And if you see here, I hit it. That doesn't matter because the sky don't have to be all smooth because you get uh, clouds and so on. Now I'm going to come back here. And see, I didn't even add more ink on this. I had plenty on my brush. So now, boom, it is done without any of the masking. The reason why some don't like the masking, it's because you have to end cut. If you get the dies for it, a lot of the time, you are still gonna have to end cut. And I'm gonna tell you all that in a minute. Now I'm gonna come here and put my happy birthday and I'm stamping that with black memento. Et voila. Now we're gonna go ahead and that one, it's mounted on um, this one. I done it on shaded spruce because I know I use the soft succulent, but the dark one did look good with the shaded spruce. Voila. And then on top of this, and then I'm going to share another way inside doing a masking, but the masking, it's, it's more a spotlight, put it that way. So inside, it's going to be a spotlight. So we're going to do this here. So for the spotlight, I did a copy paper again. And I punch out. Well, we don't have the punch anymore, so you can use your die. You, um, Oh, autofocus. I don't think so. Thanks, Glenda. Let me check that. That would be... Okay, for autofocus, it's not there. I don't think so. No, it's off. Let me check the other one. And autofocus, it's off. Thank you. That was a good point. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what I done, I cut out, it's two and a quarter circle. Now, inside my card, this time I'm going to put it on this side just because I thought after I did the other one. Going to put that right there. Going to take my mousse and this time I stamp it instead of memento because I will not color it with the blends. Um, I color it with, I not color it, but stamp it with early espresso. And I'm going to stamp that right there. I'm just concentrating on his face. Never mind his caboose or his antler and so on. Just concentrate on his face. Here we go. Boom. Now I took uh, the brush that I got the blue on it. Make sure not too much. And oops, just hold this tight and just go around a bit. Never mind if you put some blue on the, the whatever, our mousse. You just want a little bit. And when I say a little bit, and you're going to see why. Really, you're going to say it's no blue there, right? It blend a bit the ink because the ink was not dry. But see, I just get that circle there. So that's how I done the inside of my cards. Okay. 
Now, let's crank it up a notch and we will do the masking. I am a big fan of um, masking and I had, here he is, I thought, my goodness. So our mask paper, it is new in the catalog. I mean, new, new in this annual catalog and it's a little bit stronger than what I'm used to play with. It is the mask, it's on page, it's funny because I had a tough time finding it. One minute. It is with the tools right here on page 149, number nine, masking paper. So again, it's on page 149 and it's number nine. So it's a little bit stronger than what I like. So what you can do, it's two things. One of the thing, it's... <clears throat> Take your embossing buddy. And so I color it first, okay? And the hat, by the way, I use Night of Navy, the light, use a little bit of the dark and then use a parakeet for the green. You're gonna take your, um, whatchamacallit here, your embossing buddy, tap it on. That's gonna help it quite a bit. Now, I like to use a mask more than once because you don't have to cut it all the time. So here it is. I am cut this. I know some of you are having a heart attack, but it's all possible. My best tip, it's when you cut, you if that is you if you're right and if you're a lefty, I'm sorry, I don't have a tip for you. But your right and your left hand gonna move the paper and your right hand gonna open and close the scissors. Now, when you're going to cut that, you're going to go right at the line of the thing. Even if you go inside, inside the line, it's better than leaving some white on the outside. Here, I even in, went in the center of this. I just poked my scissors and went through. The little uh, doodette here for the hat, the tassel for the hat, I completely cut that off because it don't matter that if it's and, you know, mask or not. Same thing with his little goatee uh, air at the, the chin, that's completely off. Now, you what you can do, you can go in the back and just do a portion of it. And, and then you can use it more. Some like to take a rag, I got a rag here, and tap it on a rag first because it's more sticky than what we like. Yes, you can use post-it note. I heard from many that now they get post-it note that it's a post-it, you know, the thing removable on the full sheet, not just a little strip. So, and I use the, in the past, I used to use the Avery label uh, adhesive, the removable one. So whatever worked for you. Now, when you're gonna put that here, you see, when you remove the black, that is okay. And the reason why that you want to um, remove, if you keep too much, see, even I didn't have much here, you see, I get a little bit of a halo around. So I should have cut it even more. I get a little bit of halo here and over here also. So that's why you want to cut it very short and to also on the inside. Now, just cause I use the embossing buddy and you're going to ask why using the embossing buddy? It's cause it won't stick as art and it's going to be easier to remove the mask. Now I'm going to just push out the, cause that got kind of a little powder or, you can put it on a rag, whatever you prefer. Now we're going to stamp the trees before anything else. So I'm using Mossy Meadow. And we're going to go ahead. I don't want this little small one, okay? So I'm just going to go on the side here like this. And really, I don't want that. Did you see me? I just wiped that with my <laughs> finger and then on me. 
So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to decide about where I want the horizon. I want that about this chin. Okay. I think that's well, maybe a little bit lower below his chin there. And then I'm going to stamp that there. And did you see, I went like, like dance with my uh, stamp. It's because I want to go closer to the thing. I don't want too much yellow. I got some, but it's not that bad. And that's why you don't want to do a mask with um, <clears throat> a mask with cardstock. Cardstock, it's too thick for a mask. Now I'm going to stamp it again. Et voila. And then right on top of him, don't have a heart attack. You just get smush by the trees. Okay, so now we got that. So that was the trees from Campology. Now I'm going to use the trees from Grassy Grove. And I'm going to come right there. That's about right. Now I want it in the back, like so to make it look like they're more on the hill or in the mountains and way more in the back, it need to be stamp off one because the further out it is, it's lighter. So I want them lighter. Stamp it off and there. Stamp it off and there. Stamping off, oops, and here. And then I can add maybe one right there, full length. Here we go. And stamp it off, off. See some of it, I go twice. So that way I give more, the finish, whatever, more depth to the card. Now that we got that there, we can do the, the grass or the, the snow in this case. And it don't have to be snow. Hmm. I could do that in green also. So a change of mind, we're gonna do, no, I'm gonna do snow. I like to have snow. So we're gonna go ahead and do the snow the same way. One thing, you, you don't wanna sponge on top of the trees right away, because what's gonna happen, it's, it's not quite dry yet, and you're gonna have like all that ink smear. So I like to, put my piece of paper on top and then smush it like this. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go here, add more. And now I can really go to town with it, right? Cause it's mass, so I don't have to worry. But again, when it's a, the ground that it's like not moving, I like to go from the top down. And if it's the ocean, I push it up to give that motion look. And here, that's pretty good. I won't add more of the snow bank, but I'm gonna add like this. About here, I'm gonna stop the ground about here. And then we, for the top, I'm gonna use the same blue, but lighter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not using gray this time. I'm gonna use blue and just blend that a little bit, not much. So we're gonna keep uh, more of like the daylight, put it that way. Okay, now you're going to say, I got a fiasco, don't I? Well, with the magic of this, we're going to peel that up. So when you peel it up, I like to leave it flat here and just pull very gentle. And this worked wonderful with the embossing buddy. My first one was not so good. So, um, and voila, I can use it again. See, so I keep that me with my stamp set because when I want to do it. Now, I got a little bit too much light. I'm going to bring a little bit more blue down. So what I'm going to go, it's... Uh, 
I went a little bit too heavy there, but that's okay. Here we go. I want it to at least keep light here. Voila. Now I'm going to take my happy birthday, the same one from Shaded uh, Summer and with Memento. And I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. And this one here with the, the trees, I did five and a quarter by four. Five and a quarter by four. Now I'm going to mount that on, um, let me remove this here so it's not so. Uh, I'm going to mount that on parakeet. And the parakeet, it is parakeet party. It is four and three, eight, no. Four and one eight, four and one eight by five and three eighths. And then for the inside, I'm going to add an insert and do the same thing with my circle. That's it. Et voila. So now you saw how to do the background with a mask and then without a mask. Et voila. How about that? So I hope that we both inspire you. And now um, I think that um, we're going to try to do that more often. Right, Ollie? We, Absolutely. We a, maybe we get a little bit of a learning curve. But I think, you know what? We cannot wait till we know everything before we, we try something because it's never going to happen. So the best thing I always say, let me try to, um, one minute, here we go. I think the best thing to uh, improve ourselves is to keep on doing it uh, when it's live, because that's when we can fix our boo-boos. If not, it's no boo-boos when we practice, right, Ollie? Right. So perfect. Well, if you guys want what you see, give us the thumbs up. And uh, when this video is going to be posted, maybe uh, we're going to both have our link with, uh, uh, let me think, a blog attached to it. So thank you so much, everyone, and have a great evening. Bye-bye for now.